up guys, this is Ray and welcome to Asian Films. And it's April, so we're still going to be talking about superhero flicks. And today let's talk about the 2004 Japanese superhero film Kashan, directed by Kiria Kazuaki and starring Isaya Yusuke and Aso Kumiko. Kashan is a reimagining of a classic Tatsunoko superhero of the same name and it's pretty retro. So this is a this live action film offers an updated look not only in the costume design of the lead character but also the world that it takes place in. And Kashan definitely feels like it takes its story from classic material. It takes place after a, a 50 year war had hit the earth and has left much of the world contaminated with pollution and disease and poverty. And so we have this doctor by the name of Dr. Ozma who claims to have discovered Neo cells, which will which he claims that will help humans uh, essentially heal and recover uh, lost body parts or even heal uh, damaged ones. Dr. Ozma also has a son by the name of Tetsuya and he's a soldier but one day he gets killed in battle. And on the same day that Tetsuya's body is getting returned to Dr. Ozma, Dr. Ozma's lab gets struck by lightning and this causes all the cells, all the body parts that are in this kind of pool in Dr. Ozma's lab to fuse together and and it causes all these bodies to reanimate and march out of the laboratory. But not all of them are killed off. Some of them escape and survive and they make it to this secluded area and kind of reform and they call themselves the Neo Sapiens. So these Neo Sapiens are branded as terrorists by the government and then shortly after their escape, Dr. Ozma takes his dead son Tetsuya and dips him into this pool of Neo cells and revives him back to life. And then the father of Tetsuya's fiance, who's also a scientist, gives Tetsuya this super powered suit to keep his body and muscles in control because apparently after regenerating, his body is in danger of tearing itself apart. And so of course, Tetsuya goes on to fight the Neo Sapiens, donning the moniker Kashan. So let's talk about the goods and bads of Kashan. First, of course, the goods. Well, the visuals were fantastic. If you're looking for something super stylish, and just super kind of chaotic, then Kashan really delivers all of that. I also enjoy the music. It uses a lot of themes that really set the mood and to make the story really dramatic and kind of epic feeling. And it makes each scene a bit gloomy and a bit dark. And I really like the atmosphere that's set when you combine the music with the scenes. And the costume designs are also cool. If you were ever a fan of Kashan back in the day, uh, you. I think I feel like you can kind of still appreciate this new costume. It's kind of rebooted in a way. You know, you compare, for example, Batman and the Dark Knight trilogy and compare it to his old costume back in the days in the comics. It's kind of like that. You have Kashan's costume in here. It's updated. It's modern. It definitely looks more realistic. Uh, but at the same time, throughout the film, you kind of get Easter eggs where you show Kashan's uh, old school style helmet and it's transplanted in different scenes here and there. The action was also quite entertaining, albeit it was quite chaotic at times and I feel like that sometimes you can follow the camera as it's just going crazy around the room as it's trying to track uh, Kashan fighting off the Neo Sapiens. And at the same time, uh, it kind of goes wild in that, you know, it can't track Kashan, but I kind of, I feel that uh, a little bit of chaos and a little bit of craziness. I, I kind of liked it. Although admittedly at times it was kind of hard to follow what was going on. And so as far as positives I have to say about Kashan, that was pretty much it. I think I have a lot more negatives to say about it. So let's dive into that. You know, first, you know, I mentioned that I like the visuals of Kashan. You know, I like the special effects. I really like the grim tone that's set uh, in the story. But at the same time, throughout most of the movie, I felt it was quite over stylized. You get so many uh, so many bits of lens flare that just that just shine at your face coming from the scene, you know, almost all of which are unnecessary. Like each scene was just overly saturated with lens flare, with just lights shining and it felt very unnatural and for the most for the most part artificial and I felt that took away a lot from uh, from the feeling of this film. But at the same time, it felt like that's what it was trying to go with. I, you know, it was, it was obvious that the majority of, of the majority of the film was shot in front of a green screen or on a sound stage. And another big thing, the movie was just too damn long. Uh, I don't know how long over two hours the total runtime was, 
but so many scenes that were just totally just drawn out and just dragged on forever. I feel like you can cut a chunk out of this film and still make it work. I'd say, you know, this film could be 20, 30 minutes shorter and the exact same effect or the, uh, the exact same intention would could have been delivered. And while these scenes drag out, you know, granted, you have some pretty awesome music playing. It just kind of made the story boring. And not only the story, but the characters. I felt they were just kind of cut and dry. They really didn't have much personality to any of them. Like I felt the most interesting character, well at least the character I felt like I had I could I had the most sympathy for that I could connect with the most was the lead bad guy. He had the most interesting backstory going for him. But in the end I felt like they didn't do enough with the lead bad guy. Hell the way the final confrontation ended it was so anticlimactic. You were expecting this giant epic fight between he him and Kashan but it just didn't happen. Uh, Kashan just goes off into someone else. He just fights these this horde of CG robots, which you don't really care about. That's something else. That's something else also. Uh, this movie just relied so much on CG, and you had Kashan taking down hordes of robots because they were CG. You didn't really care for them at all. Granted, whenever he took down these hordes of robots, it looked damn cool. But in the end, they were just bodies like created by CG you just didn't care about. But anyways, as Kashan was dealing with them, and something else happened to the bad guy, and then we didn't get the we don't get the confrontation that the entire film was building up to. And it sucks because you know that's the battle that you're hoping that the movie ends with with a bang. And but and even when Kashan fights off the sub bosses, the guys directly under the bad guy, you just don't care for them either. They're, I mean, you want to care for them. They all have interesting backstories, you know, which admittedly the film does do a good job in building up and it makes you sympathetic for what happens to them and their actual arcs. But when it came down to the, the confrontation between these guys and Kashan, you, you just kind of don't care what happens to them. And I think it goes back to what I said earlier, you know, after the backstory, after the buildup, the, the characters themselves, the personalities, they just come off as bland and boring. So overall, what did I think of Kashan? Uh, you know, I remember watching it way back when I fell asleep through the story and I just didn't care for it much back then. And so I rewatched it again to see if, you know, maybe after years of not watching it and kind of developing more of a taste for of watch with watching movies that I might appreciate it a bit more. Granted, you know, after watching it again, there are a lot of things I could appreciate about this movie, but at the same time, yeah, it was still a lot, not so, not a bit disappointing, but it was very disappointing. The movie relied so much on its style, on CG, on just everything looking damn cool, but it didn't give us uh, characters that we that we care for. I mean, other than the lead bad guy, he, you know, but they didn't do enough with him. And then overall, the story it was just too ambitious. So I think if you were to watch Kashan as a good old superhero film. I think you'd be bored to tears, but if you were to watch it as some kind of action-packed art house movie, you can kind of find enjoyment in it. Like it had a lot of interesting things to say about war, about good versus evil, and the repercussions of war, but I felt like the way it executed everything, it just didn't do well for me. So do I recommend Kashan? No, maybe not. Maybe if you have a two and a half hours free in a day, Maybe, but if you just had to go out of your way to watch this film, I would say nah. And it's a shame really because Kashan is a classic Japanese superhero which deserved a lot more, but uh, it didn't get the justice it deserved uh, with this movie. And so yes, those are my thoughts on the live action Kashan. What did you guys think or what kind of questions did you guys have? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And by all means, support Asian Filmless through Patreon. It would really help the channel a lot. Plus, you can take advantage of a lot of cool perks. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you all again in the next video. Take it easy.